Okay, take three. Hey guys, Sergeant Mario 101 here. Welcome back to the Legends of the Wind Waker. In the last episode, we took down the Earth Temple with Medley and revived half the Master Sword's power. In this episode, we are sailing to uh, an island we haven't been to yet. Probably, I think so. Well, I probably got it off screen in the unreleased episode, um, episode five. But enough about that crap. I've talked about that episode way too many times. But anyway, why are we sailing to this island? Because like, uh, there's something I want to get on this island. There's a treasure chart. So, because we are going to reveal to Makar, you know, about the Wind Temple and all that, but just like Medley, we're not going to be going to the Wind Temple in the exact same episode. We're going to do that in the next episode. And so let's just get this treasure wolf real quick, and I love that sun effect in the ba background. This is probably going to be have 20 rubies, isn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, going over to this island over here, this is um, Spectacle Island, which has a really, uh, really fun mini game. It's not like that stupid mini game, the Birdman Contest, which I thought was fun, but no, it, it ain't. It's just terrible. And actually, let's talk to the map fish real quick. I know I already have. I know I already have the. I don't know, the sound on the sea chart right now, but I want to just. What do you guys hear what the map fish has to say on this island? Hi, small fry! No, I don't want to. Okay. Beware then. Oh, no, don't tell me. No, I don't want to play that little minigame. I'll play it later. Actually, wait, I already played it, so I don't have to show it. Oh, when the crescent moon is up. Oh, don't tell me. I think you all probably know. But unfortunately, since it's night, we can't play this mini game. So I'll just use a song pass and show you what we have to do. And before I do that, uh, choo choo. Okay. Sometimes a uh, blue choo jelly will spawn up in the bridge, just so I was just moving up to make sure. What does this say? Yep. Read it. It doesn't matter. Okay, so climbing up here. There is. Mm -hmm. I'm already close for today. Maybe come again tomorrow. Alright, I'll just make tomorrow happen quicker. Besides, I don't want to be outside in the rain all night. I was already in the rain for a quarter of a year, one time. Ah! Oh, never mind, my mistake. Yeah, yeah, step right up. If you, don't you look like someone I know before? I thought I'd seen you. No comment. Anyway, yes, just forget these rolls, I know how to play. Anyway, this mini game we have to just shoot cans at those barrels and we get a prize. Now, yesterday when I was te uh, practicing this, I got an awesome spawn with these things like four of the five barrels like spawned like next to each other like around here and so like I didn't have to move the cannon anywhere they were just like at the same distance like it was just so awesome I really wish I recorded it but hopefully I can do this because I know I do like this mini game honestly I don't want to F it up Okay, okay. This one. Nope. Uh, 40, that's good. Come on. Thank you. And I'll go for... I'll go for a 45. Uh, no. Uh, 42. Yes! Okay. Not gonna hand your chair over. Mess. I hate you. Anyway, peace of heart. Click for the easiest complete heart container, but that's not all we have to do this mini game again because he has a treasure chart. Uh, 
And there's a decent barrel spawner right over there. 20. Really? If I get any points for hitting the map fish, yeah, well, too late to figure out. Okay, okay. Anyway, church chart, and now this leads to Ice Ring Island. Yes, I know what island that leads to. If you play this mini game again, you'll get some orange rubies, but since the mini game costs 50 rubies, you technically win 50 rubies. So, enough of that. We are actually now ready to go to, um, Forest Haven and reveal to Makar that he's the Sage of the Wind Temple. The new Sage of the Wind Temple. The Sage of Wind. Anyway, warping to Forest Haven. bait real quick. Okay, I have plenty. It's for what I'm going to be doing in this episode. Climbing up here. Better get the film ring ready for that Boca Baba. Thank you for the- Thank you for the Boca Baba seed, okay. Now there's two ways you can get up here. You can either use the Deku Leap to from climbing up there and using it over here, but I'm going to do it this way. I usually do it the Deku Leap way, but I just, for whatever reason, feel like using the grappling hook for this part. Yep. Hey, Makar. What's up? Awesome song there, buddy. I haven't heard that since, like, episode 4. Thanks, man. Yes. Uh, already practicing for next year? Well, it's been, like, since October since last time, so it's been, like, I don't know, half a year. But anyway, Makar, here. Conductor's baton? It's the Wind Waker. Actually, hold on. Let's see what happens if we play the Earth God's Lyric. Just wondering. Hmm, that's a nice song. It is... Is it that? My songs are better than that? Jeez, man. Yeah, you know, I'm, I don't... I'm sorry I'm not doing the real Makar voice, but... I just don't feel like it. Anyway, the Wind God's Aria. Hmm, does it go something like this? D that That is not Makar's voice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What?
Okay, now, just like Medley, before we go to the Wind Temple, we're gonna explore some new islands first. First, before we do that, we're gonna get the treasure on, um, Ice Ring Island. The island right beside it. And actually, wait, the wind's already blowing the right direction. Let me open that chart up first. Ice Ring Island. So, basically, this is the islands we're gonna be going to. We're gonna first go to... Ice Ring Island, then this island over here, this one, this one, this one, uh, Bird's Peak Rock, and Bomb Island. And, oh, wait, 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 wait. I just heard something. I forgot about the treasure on this island. <laughs> God damn, that would have been bad. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, well, my car just, like... Looks, stands on the king's head. And yeah, I'm not going to be probably doing the Makar voice anytime soon anymore. I know it's in this treasure, but I'm not going to spoil it for the next second. That's a total of two. Okay, now we're off to Ice Ring Island. And avoiding the Forbidden Woods, which I think there was a treasure I actually missed in that um, dungeon that I actually did go... That that was actually how the beginning of Episode 5 was going to be. Like, I I missed a treasure in that dungeon, and it just showed me getting it. Just, about, honestly, about the Forbidden Woods, just, it always seems, no matter what, in every one of my playthroughs of this game, I always forget to open at least one treasure in that dungeon. I mean, it's usually not something important, but I always just forget to open just one of the treasure chests on that dungeon. Every single time. I don't know. It's all in the fairy island. Anyway, after we go to Ice Island, we're gonna be going to that puny island over there. Probably the smallest island in the game. Well, besides the Star Islands. There's the map fish and two eyed reef. Let me do the jump boost. I don't know if it's actually a boost. Like a lot of people I know do this. Because apparently it sails fast, which I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm just not gonna do it because I don't wanna break my thumb. There, almost there. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, silver ruby. Okay, changing the wind direction. Changing the wind direction to blow south. South end of the south end of the sea. To whatever that island is called. I know what it's called, but I'm not going to spoil it. Night mm, Forest Haven. Force Haven really just gets small, like when you're in, when you're in islands close from it, it just gets small like unbelievably quickly. I mean, it's not like huge like the size of the Dragon Island or the Tower of the Gods or anything like that. No, this is probably I just wish Force Haven was taller so I could see it from farther from islands farther away. And oh boy, we got sharks. Ooh, and these sharks look aggressive. Can I get this treasure? Oops, hold on, come on, come on, come on. Holy Jesus. And actually, about this, the, the way I'm going to these islands, um, 
originally how I said I'm gonna go to how I said I was gonna go from uh, Ice Ring Island to Bomb Island. I actually originally was gonna do that the other way around, but I found out I realized that there's a treasure on uh, the island that we're gonna be going to right after this one that has um a chart that's probably wor worth getting. You know, doing it this way than the other way I planned. You'll see why when we go to the island after that island. And there's nothing too important else. On, nothing else important on this raft. I saw a little. There it is. I saw a little treasure over there. God damn it, sharks! This island is just infested with sharks. And oh god. It isn't even an island, I would call that. Wait a minute, how many sharks are going to? Five, six? Just holy Jesus. It's probably the island that has most sharks in the game. Purple Ruby. Let me count. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Oh, God. Scoop. Can I turn my boat around without you jackasses ramming me off my boat? Apparently, that's a no. <laughs> um, can I please get on my boat without those things biting me? Also, um, another thing. Also, I have a complaint. Okay. I get rammed off these sharks. Okay, but... What I have to ask is why don't why doesn't my car? In fact, Medley doesn't get knocked off the boat either. So what the hell? Why is it just Link? <sighs> Freaking game logic. Okay, let's just see this. Opening this up, and this is Angular Isles. This is another quite lonely island, and he just talks about, tells us about the fairies we can catch in um, Forest Haven. No, 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 not fairies, fireflies, sorry. Not really too important since we already did that. I can't tell when I'm, when the, when my cursor gets vertical. Stop, take stop. Crap. I seriously just I just want to do this without you guys having to Please just let me Alright. You asked for it. I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm gonna have to kill you guys. But I can't when they freaking gang rape me. <laughs> you guys are enjoying this, aren't you? You guys enjoy me getting just beaten up and gang on, huh? I mean, just, oh my god, dang it. Okay. One more left, okay, one more left, one more left. Get over here. Thank you for dying. Okay, finally. What's this? It's probably a piece of heart. And yeah, I just spoiled it, because I already know what it is. For practicing. Piece of heart. Hey. Nope, sail. Actually, there is actually something about this island that I should talk about, like the origin of this island. Uh, apparently, it seems that these were actually where the great fairies were born. Apparently, on this island and our submarine buddies, that apparently, I believe, were born on this island as well. So, apparently, I believe this was actually a big, important island, but now it's just two pillars just infested by sharks. So, pushing this here. I really just would like to know what this 
was like. Sorry about that. I was um, rudely interrupted by someone telling me to quiet down. But anyway, sorry about that. Anyway, climbing up here again after that cut. Um, choo choo! Actually, before I open this chest, I know I gotta make the wind blow east. I am not going to comment on that shoe jelly that's above my head. Okay, heart container. Well, piece of heart that makes a heart container. So we have four pieces. Before I do anything else... Deku Leaf. Fall into the hole! Whoa. Sweet. This place looks awesome. Okay, what do we do? Um, of course you need the mirror show because of those beams of light up there. We'll see what happens once we push these. Just this island is so quiet, like just if you could just think about what this island used to be like. You know, I don't want to push that any further. Nice. What is in here? Silver Ruby, awesome. Okay, and can I go over here? And oh crap, I can. And what? Um. Oh, okay, they just teleport me here. Oh well. It's not like we would have gone to a new world or something. No, no, no. We just get teleported to the other side. Okay, better than nothing, I guess. Anyway, we're done with this island. This island's completed, and let's go to the next one. Now, this island over here is going to have a really, really fun mini game. And it's really easy, and it's really a good ruby grinder. Probably my most. What I say? It's. Would I say I like it more than the canon mini game at Spec Spec Spectacle Island? I don't know. I probably like them about the same. These sharks are getting on my nerves. Okay, thank God they went away. Mm. Come on, load already. Oh boy, sea hats and a raft over there. I'm not gonna bother with that raft. Or rat afs, because there's three of them. Where's the map fish? Oh, their map fish is way over there. Asking where the moon was. Okay, it's right over there. Full moon. Okay, dig for treasure. Nice. And this is the Sea Hearts chart. This. Okay, how can I explain this chart? Uh, okay, this chart leads to treasure charts that lead to pieces of hearts. I hope you guys can understand that. You can? Thanks. Uh, 
Don't worry about the map fish later. But anyway, here is a the really fun mini game that definitely just kills the Birdman contest. But unfortunately, we don't get anything like big from doing this. And actually, sh actually, I won't do this right away. I'll first show this little hole on the other side of that island. We gotta make sure the wind's blowing north. Blowing the forest haven. And in this hole, we have... Oh, great. Die! Damn it. Come on, I can, I can do this. I have freaking done this without having to kill these mini ones before. I can do it again. I killed some, but I don't give a crap. Okay, I can't. Apparently, I can't do it while commentating. And this is the submarine chart. This is why I wanted to take this um, new direction over where the islands I was going to. Like you know, I said, Icing Island to Bomb Island, not Bomb Island to Icing Island, because this chart. If I can bring it up. There's a submarine to the island that we're going to be going to next. So we've taken care of the one on Bomb Island, the one on Crescent Moon Island, the one on Headstone Island, and the one on... What is that other island? Cough? Flight Control Platform, okay. So we have three more to go. And now I will show that minigame. But first... I make the wind blow west. No, 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 not west, east. Getting my directions mixed up. Yes, you can say I'm stalling. And freaking parachuting is crappy when you're not when the wind's not blowing the right way. Okay, talking to this guy who you can actually meet at Windfall Island and the at the cafe at night. Anyway, thirty rubies to play. Um, he doesn't. I don't. He doesn't need to explain the rules. I'll explain because it's really easy. Okay, four minutes. Three, two, one, go! Basically, what you do is jump over the barrels and just collect rubies. That's it, really. And you can actually, I don't think you have to jump, you can just like touch the rubies. Yeah. But these ones you have to jump, no matter what, or else you're gonna lose time. Now, I believe after playing this minigame a few times, it will get a bit harder. Like, I think you'll get like a little bit less time, but that's all I really know. I don't really know if like enemies will appear and try to, you know, hurt you. But that's another thing. Like, what happens to the sea hats around these islands during this minigame? What, they just decide to disappear? That's just what I have to do. That's what I have to ask. And oh, great, we have a bum barrel. We have 83 rubies so far, and we only paid 30 for this game, mini game. Dang. Like I said, this is a really good mini game if you want a ruby grind. But I don't really do this mini game all that much, even though I do find it pretty fun. I should think there was time I did. There was one time when I was practicing it where I did it a lot. In fact, maybe if I just play it a bit more, I'll start playing it a lot. Jumping, avoiding the bomb barrels, which aren't even close to me at all. Go back to Far I'd Reef, you freaking bomb barrels. And that's it. And before I. Just press the A button to get off the scene. I'm just gonna let it play. Do you know why? <laughs> I 
broke a freaking crate. <laughs> I wasn't planning on that that happening. I was just I just wanted to see me go out of the bounds. <laughs> I broke a freaking. <gasps> I'm so glad I got that on camera. I got that on the recording. Oh my god. Oh man. That's probably one of my favorite moments of helping so far. Just having that happen. Okay, anyway. Moving on. Getting out of this. Actually, wait a minute. We didn't get the map fish. This is crap. Where are you, you fucking jackass? Okay, there he is. Way over on the other side. And unfortunately, I can't do the jumping tactic. Okay. I can, but it doesn't work unless the wind's blowing, blowing the right direction. Come on. I like doing this little turn trick, like I said before. Okay, come on. Eat the bait, eat the bait. Oi, small fry! This is... Boating course. Oh my god, I can just imagine what this island would be like if Spongebob were here. <laughs> oh man, oh, I... oh no, now I got that image in my head. Okay, now... Hopefully if we can get out of this island without these jackasses ramming us. What is your problem? Treasure. <laughs> Not gonna bother with that though. Just keep moving. Keep on moving. To another one of these star islands, which I think was a we saw one above Dragon's Island. Actually I don't think I did all the stuff on that one. Have on the sound if we can just get it to load already. Okay, platform. Let's go to that first. And actually, wait, let's find the little treasures here first. Because I think there is one around this platform. Is there, there it is, yep. Thanks for not proving me wrong, game. Jump. Jump. Jump, Link! Okay, and we got a submarine over there, like we saw in that submarine chart. You know, I just, I wanted to make that submarine chart, you know, somewhat useful, because, you know, if we could, if we went to this island first and then got that submarine chart later, we would, all, we would only have two submarines to go to. So I decided, you know what, let's just make it a bit more useful and just, you know, have three left that we can go to. Climbing the ladder. Really long ladder. That's what she said. South east end of the sea. Hopefully this is not the night if I'm thinking of. Oof, bow goblin. If I can aim right. I don't care. I was stabbing you through the pole. That's awesome. And we got a the cans on this place. Great. I don't care. Just set it off. I only take one damage. Okay, that's it. Knowing my luck, this is probably just going to be a golden feather. How did I know? I have to go all the way back to the Earth Temple to give that to Medley. Look, I hope I hope you enjoy sailing with me to all, all these islands. Do you, Makar? Do you? I mean, you don't care that I'm stalling, right? You know. You know, stalling. I mean, the world could be like dying right now. 
Like, you know, Ganondorf's probably already got Zelda by now. You know, he probably could be already taking over the world, but he can't do that without the other Triforce. Right. We know the legends. The one who gathers all three Triforces will get a wish. And I have, uh, six... Wish. I have three quarters of the Triforce of Courage. Anyway, submarine. And we have rafts uh, guarding it, but that doesn't matter because we can just go through them. Or past them. Sorry, past them, I mean. You'd think they would put more effort to protect these things. But, 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 but again, bow goblins are retarded. And before I do anything, I'm going to take care of these bats so they don't get in the way. Just having that small little enemy that can just piss you off. And in this case, it's keys. That's it. Ha! Die, die, die. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Getting tired of washing water in your face. You like that? Now. Die. Oh, you feel like just still fine? Slice your head off. Okay, climbing up the ladder. Climbing up the ladder. We got a piece of heart! Okay. Now let's get out of this place. My god, this place is dark. But again, it's just awesome graphic effects in this game. Just, my god, this game just has so much polish to it. Also, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, like about maybe a week, but. Some of the stuff that's been going, gaming news that's been going on in a while, like, okay. What was announced? Um, a new Mario game, a new 2D Mario game. New Super Mario Bros. 2, yeah, for the 3DS. Nice and. Makar, come on! Shut up. We can stall a little longer and. Look how small Forest Haven is. Look. But anyway, New Super Mario Bros. 2. Good, and it's coming out in August. That is awesome. That's the month of my birthday. If it comes out on the 27th, I'm going to cry like tears of joy, because that's when my birthday is. Oosh, but also, even though that game, I know it will be awesome, that game is nothing to what else was announced. Um, that Pokemon Searcher app for the Black and White 2 for the 3DS. Hopefully that might have a small hint, I don't know, maybe a sequel to Pokemon Snap. Just think about it. <coughs> Excuse me, it could happen. Boy, small fry! This is Five Star Isles. Not really a Five Star Island, I would say. Have you seen it, small fry? The ghost ship? Cause it's real. It's even been seen. I've even been here. In these very waters. Wait, you mean it's been here? Oh, no. Thank God I'm not on that night. I don't want to get any more fears from that thing. Oh, and those birds. Um, when I was practicing this a little while ago, when I got this treasure over here, this is back when I was, you know, going from here to here. When I was going over the submarines, those things chased me like halfway there. Like, it was unbelievable. Like, just these things just wanted me so badly. Where is it? There it is. Stop using pack. God damn it. Jesus Christ! Thanks, guys. Did 
Thanks. Might as well grab that. Ow. Those guys have freaking aim. The aims of a sniper. Aims of a sniper. Aims of snipers, I mean. Right in the ass. Dude, okay, you're complaining now too? Dude, I will do what I want. I know the world is probably in trouble right now, but I don't care. I gotta do all this other stuff first. Get the treasure. I don't know. I'm gonna keep my cool. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Nice. Yeah, 21 minutes, I'm making pretty good time. Might be not that long of an episode. Piece of hot. Jesus Christ. Okay, wind's already blowing north. Good. Mm. You know, moving over to here. This is going to be an island that I didn't show because, again, I went to this island, you know, episode 5 didn't happen. Okay, shut up. But the only, I only did one thing there. That was it. You'll see it when we get over there. Just right now. I want to get that treasure. In fact, I'll go to that platform first. Okay, purple ruby. Oh yeah, a bit more game news I heard about um, Pikmin 2 getting a, a coming to America for the Wii after three years. After Japan, Europe, and Australia have had the game for three years. Thanks, Nintendo. Thanks, and oh god, a whiz robe. I have no idea why those whiz robes have white robes on. That's how they look out in the sea outside. Whatever, I guess, show more colors in this game for the enemies. I mean, you have pink blue goblins in. You have pink, blue, and green blue goblins, so why not have white whiz robes? Oh, God. Just die! Or not. Okay, thanks. And I'm just gonna burn that other one. Oh, it's shooting fire, huh? Think fire's funny? Right back at ya! Bogo Baba Seed, are you serious? Are you friggin' serious? You can't give me like an orange ruby. <sighs> Thanks, game designers. What the fuck? Are you serious? Are you serious? Any more? Any more whiz robes? Are you just gonna suddenly throw at me? I guess not. Let's get that other treasure way back over there. Where is it? Oh, there it is. And over there is Bird Peaks Rock. And there's the eastern end of the sea. I love narrating everything. But Pikmin 2 getting a Wii release um, in America, okay. Oh, this just gives us another game to, for 2012 for the Wii, I mean. It's Wii's last year, I gotta give it as many games as we can possibly give it. So it's just gonna be obsolete by the end of this year. And hopefully, now that Pikmin 2 is coming out for the Wii in America, hopefully this will mean Pikmin 2 will be more well-known and be played more, because 
Pikmin 2 did not sell well at all when it first came out in the game came back in 2004. <laughs> the, the first game was a million seller, but not Pikmin 2. It just did not sell well at all. Remember, I got it at GameStop for I think like 40 bucks used. That was the one time GameStop would probably did something good for me. They didn't have a copy of Pikmin 2. They would get one for. Me. They said they would get one for me. They did, but I had to get it used for 40 bucks. 40 bucks. <sighs> My God. This is Cliff Plateau Isles. The Nintendo Gallery, yeah, yeah, that whole thing of Psychos I'm not doing. God, the thing scared me. Um, but about GameStop, I, that's actually something I wanted to say. Okay, um, there's something I, I have to say about the uh, employees sometimes. There was this one employee, employee I saw at a GameStop, okay. This is a little story, okay. Um, when I, one time, this was like back in September of last year. I wanted to get the game Metroid Prime Hunters, okay, for the DS. It's a really old DS game, like, it's about like six years old, even though it was like five and a half years old when I got it, but okay. I go to a GameStop, I get the game, I go outside to my car, no, wait, not my car, but, you know, parents, but, okay, I put the game in my 3DS, okay, it's not, I don't, nothing comes up, they, tr I go back inside the store, they try to fit, try to fix it, clean it, put it back in my 3DS, still doesn't, nothing pops up, so they tell me to go to another GameStop, show them the receipt, and get another copy of Metroid Prime Hunters there. So I go to that GameStop, and well, um, thankfully they have the case for the, for the game, because the first GameStop didn't have the case, but that's not the point, okay. I put this other copy of Metroid Prime Hunters in the uh, my DS, my 3DS, and here's the problem. Nothing pops up, and so one of the employees says, the employee is like, since you know I'm using my 3DS, she's like, do you have it in DS mode? I'm just like, what? D DS mode? Are you? And eventually, a little while after that, the Metroid Prime Hunters logo thing, cartridge logo appears on the screen. Okay, so it works. So I got the game, went home, and well, played the game. Even though, to be honest, I really do not like Metroid Prime Hunters that much. What kills that game for me is the controls. They are just. Ugh. Metroid Prime Hunters on the DS is the prime example why gamers should have full con customizable controls. Just, <laughs> the controls on that game are just... They're like the GameCube controls for Metroid Prime, for the Metroid Prime games, even though I've never played the GameCube versions of them, even though I heard their the controls are awful. <sighs> just, ugh. But yeah, it's just... I don't know why some employees are just at GameStop are just so retarded like that. Do you have it in DS mode? <laughs> I'm gonna remember that. Um, hey, uh, do you know in order to play a GameCube game on the Wii, you have to put the game the Wii in GameCube mode? Nah. <laughs> you know what? Let me take a picture of you. I guess I can put you in the Nintendo gallery. And before I leave this island, um. Let me open up the chart I got. Shh, that's Forsaken Fortress, so great. But before, uh, something about sound, um, just asking, uh, I already have the treasure on the sound, because, you know, episode 5 I got it. Never aired, never uploaded, it's gone. But basically, there is a Triforce piece on the sound, just to let you guys know. So, anyway. Speaking of Metroid, I was hearing that Metroid on Wii U was running on Unreal Engine 3. I'm like, Metroid? Wii U? Apparently there is a Metroid game in development for Wii U. It is being made by Retro Studios. Like, already my heart was like, just... <sighs> I was gasping for air. Retro Studios made the Metroid Prime games, the phenomenal games in the series. Metroid Prime 
being the best game in the series, tied with Super Metroid by some fans. <sighs> Please just be a first-person Metroid game. It doesn't have to be a Metroid Prime game, but just be a first-person Metroid game. And, oof, seagulls. Anyway, just gonna get the treasure on the zone, then we're gonna be going to Bomb Island. So, Metroid on Wii U, what else can we get on that thing? Well, and Pikmin, yeah, Pikmin will be at E3, I think I said that before, but... Please just... If they just see it, if the, if the only Pikmin news they show at E3 is just, you know, more about Pikmin 2 on the Wii, I'll be just like... I will get my not guns that I do not own ready. Or never mind. Oh wait, I'll get my caps lock ready and just type just troll comments like Or just no wait, hate hate comments, that's what I mean. And let me make the wind blow less for a minute. Cause really. Pikmin 3 was not at E3 2009, 2010, or 2011, even though they did promise it would be at the 2011 one. Nope, wasn't there. All we just heard is that Pikmin 3 was moved over to the Wii U. Just please give us Pikmin 3 for E3. Just show it, please. Okay, we're just going to get the treasure on Bomb Island, Bomb Island, and that'll be it. Actually, yeah, that will be it. I better stop now. Soon. Because it is almost 12 o'clock. It is 11.54 right now, and it is a school night, so yes. I like staying up really late. That's actually why I got interrupted earlier, because I had to, because someone was telling me to go to bed. No! No, I'm not! I go to bed when I feel like it. Did I already get the treasure on the zone? Oh, wait, there is one more thing I have to do on the zone after I get this treasure. Almost there. Okay. Nice. Rolling, baby. Piece of hot. Three, nice. Now before I stop, <laughs> oh no! I was going to stop on this island, but uh, I was going to enjoy it, but now I can't. I'm just going to talk to this guy. Exotic bar, yes. Sickle moon flag, sure, why not? Sickle moon flag, thanks. Pinwheel. You give me anything for the pinwheel. Uh, second sickle moon, you know what? I'll just I'll just do it for all of these. Yes. Okay, okay, thanks. Okay, you know what, that's it for this episode, so next time on Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we're gonna be off this island, and we're gonna be going to Gale Island to go to Wind Temple, okay? See you guys then, and you know what, I'm going to hide in this hole so I don't have to look at that thing's case. Okay, see you guys then! Hey, damn it! Yep. Okay, never mind, I'm just gonna crawl in. See ya!